They say every story has a beginning. Except mine. My story has two. That's me, Princess Elena of Avalor, on my 15th birthday. My parents gave me a special gift that day. A magical amulet they said would always protect me from harm. I didn't think I'd ever need it. But one fateful day, an evil, power-hungry sorceress named Shuriki invaded Avalor. She attacked my parents, then came after the rest of us. Our royal wizard, Alakazar, knew a spell that could protect my little sister and grandparents in an enchanted painting. But he needed time to cast it, so I decided to face Shuriki on my own. Shuriki tried to strike me down, but the amulet saved my life by pulling me inside it. Alakazar found the amulet and summoned his spirit animal, Zuzo, who sent him on a journey to free me. It took a little longer than I'd hoped. 41 years. But one magical day, I was freed from the amulet. It was finally my time to take back my kingdom. I rescued my grandparents and sister Isabel from the enchanted painting, and with the help of the brave people of Avalor, I defeated the wicked sorceress. Avalor was free once more, and as heir to the throne, I was gonna be the new ruler. <laughs> so, as it turned out, my adventure wasn't over. It was just beginning, again. It is too early for these shenanigans. <laughs> oh, what are you so cranky about, Migs? The evil queen is gone, the majesty of Avalor has returned, and we're back on the flag. <laughs> Strike a pose. <sighs> hey, let's go see if Princess Elena's up. Great idea. Uh-uh, no way, you two. It's bad enough you woke me up. Should we knock? Hey, princess! You up? Well, she is now. Well, good morning. Sorry if they woke you up, princess. Woke me up? <laughs> I barely slept last night. I mean, how are you supposed to sleep the night before you become queen? So when do you get your crown? Tonight at the royal ball. We will be there. Uh, we were not invited, Skylar. Oh, you're always invited. I'll see you tonight. <gasps> Zuzo? You can see me? Uh, yeah. Oh, can you see me now? Yeah. Now? Yep. How about now? Ah, a little too closely, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I thought I couldn't see spirit animals unless a wizard conjured them up. I thought so too. Huh. So why can I? I have no idea. Do you? Well, you know, I have felt a little, uh, different since I was freed from the amulet. Now that you mention it, you were trapped in there for a long time. Maybe when you got out of the amulet, you took some of its magic with you. <gasps> so I'm magical now? I'm just throwing out guesses here. But whatever's going on, it's all good, because now you can get an extra helping of animal spirit wisdom anytime you like. In fact, I'm going to hit you with some right now. If you don't get downstairs right away, you're going to be late for breakfast. <laughs> uh, that's spirit wisdom? <laughs> uh, go on, you don't want it to get cold now. Go on, go on. <laughs> Isabel!
Time for breakfast. I know. Oh, you're up already. How can I sleep after being trapped in an enchanted painting for 41 years? That's 14,965 days. There's so much stuff I want to do. Ooh, what's that? Well, since I'm getting a crown today, I wanted to get you something too. <gasps> a journal! Yeah, you can use it to design all your inventions. To my little sister for your big ideas. Love, Elena. Thanks, Elena. You're the best big sister. But am I the fastest? Tracy to <laughs> breakfast! <laughs> <sighs> the food is getting cold, Abuela. Oh, we can wait a little longer, Esteva. <laughs> On your left! Whoa, On your right! It. Hey! <laughs> Racing through the palace? This is no way for princesses to behave. Don't worry, cousin. After tonight, Elena won't be a princess anymore. She'll be queen. Um, should I tell her? Tell me what? Elena, um, you're not becoming queen tonight. I was looking through the kingdom's bylaws last night and discovered that you are too young to become queen. Uh, too young? I was trapped in that amulet for 41 years. But you did not age, Mija. Technically, you're still 16. Your grandmother is right. According to the laws, you must rule Avalor as crown princess until you come of age with the help of a grand council who must approve all your major decisions. I have to get permission to rule? Um, not exactly. It is like having a group of advisors who can help you make the best decision. And look on the bright side. There's a bright side? There's always a bright side. You get to choose the four members of the Grand Council tonight at the Royal Ball. Uh, and may I be the first to offer my Grand Counseling services? <sighs> That's a kind offer, Esteban, but I don't think I need a Grand Council. I'm ready to roll now. <laughs> this is how I know you're still a teenager. You think you're ready, but ruling a kingdom is not so simple. It reminds me of a story. <laughs> it always does. There once was a king who had lost his new crown. He frantically searched for it all over town. Alas, he did not hear the shouts as his bed of everyone saying it was right on his head. Oh, he thought he was ready to rule, but he still had some learning to do. If you listen up more than you speak, you will soon gain the wisdom you seek. So there's no need to rush, keep your cool, and one day you'll be ready to rule. I fully intend to take your good advice, but the years I spent watching my dad should suffice to teach me the things that I need to have down, like how to know when I am wearing a crown. Oh, I know. Come up with a way I can prove it to you on this day Then you will see when I'm through That I am already ready to rule Papa, how will I show them I can be as good a leader as you? The city, of course! Today, I will meet with all the city leaders and make sure they have what they need to restore our kingdom to greatness. Can you arrange that, Armando? Oh, is the chief of the castle supposed to arrange such things? I'm still getting used to the job. I know everyone who's anyone in Avalor. I will take care of everything. Then what are we waiting for? I'll take charge like the leader I know I can be and take care of all those who are counting on me. Don't you know I hold you in the highest esteem? There's more to good leadership than it may seem. Still I know I'm ready to rule. But you still have some learning to do. Now I really must be on my way. Even though I am begging you stay soon, you will see what I say is true. No, it's you who will see when I Let's go! 
Your Majesty. Huh. I haven't seen you in the castle before. Yeah, it's my first day. <clears throat> I mean, it's my first day being your royal guard. I am Lieutenant Gabriel Nunez. But you can call me Gabe. Okay, Gabe. This way, Elena. Look how many ships there are now. A lot has changed while you and your sister were gone. Avalor is now the busiest port in the world. Merchants come from all over to trade in the marketplace at the Via Mercado. We will go there next. Your Majesty. I am Captain Turner, the Harbor Master. What can I do for you this fine day? Actually, I came here to see what I can do for you. Is there anything you need to make the port run better? Anything I need? Uh, well, I suppose we could use a few more docks, a bigger lighthouse, place some oh, of the pirates. Wow! Or <laughs> I better write this down. Who you are? More ships? Dad, the question. another ship's gone missing. I'm with the princess, Naomi. Huh, even better. She should know what's going on. It's the third ship that's been stolen today. Three ships in one day? Well, we better start looking for them right away. I'll lead the search. You will? Uh, just a moment, Princess Elena. It is time for you to meet with Doña Paloma, the Magister of the Trading Guild. I can meet with her after we find the ships. Uh, no, no, no. The Harbor Patrol will locate the ships. We've already sent out a search boat, Princess. See? Your help is not needed. Elena, you said you wanted to meet with the leaders of the city, and Doña Paloma is the most important leader of them all. We cannot keep her waiting. Of course you can. You're the one in charge. So if you want to stay and help, stay and help. For now, let's have the Navy join the search. I'll come back right after I've met with Doña Paloma, I promise. Can I stay? I want to finish sketching the boats. Uh, sure. Uh, Gabe, could you stay with Isabel? It would be my honor. Thank you. A step on? So, what was it like when your sister battled that sorceress? Weird. Weird? What was weird about it? No, that's weird. Why are dogs boarding a ship? Let's go investigate. Princess! Thing. I don't know. <gasps> Get him! Don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> this is so not how I wanted my first day to go. What are those? Oh no. Marketplace and let me, Doña Paloma, personally make all trade deals from now on. That's a pretty long list. <laughs> oh, there's more. But we can discuss it tonight at the ball. Another ship was stolen. What? Young lady. And your sister was on it. Isabel? They took Isabel? And your guard. They were tied up. I will alert the Navy right away. Higgins, alert the Navy. I just got Isa back. I can't lose her again. What was I thinking? I never should have left the harbor. Oh. Skylar! Skylar! Is everything okay, Princess? No. My sister was taken. No. Isabel? And just when I thought the kingdom was getting safer. Climb on! We will search from the air! Hey, Elena, no. It is far too dangerous for you to go after boat thieves. Well, if I'm gonna rule this kingdom, I can't be afraid of taking on a few thieves. Exactly. Come on, Naomi. Wait, what? You want me to go with you uh, on one of those things? Hello, we are Jackwins, national symbols. You may have seen us on the flag. You're the only one who knows what the ship looks like. You'll be fine. This is so not fine! Hey, watch the feathers, would you? Do you see the ship? No, but that's impossible. They just left. Did you see who stole it? They were these weird purplish creatures, and one of them was breathing huge gusts of wind. So they were magical? Looked like it. You have any idea what they are? No, but I know someone who might. Princess Elena! Mateo? Naomi? You know each other? Sort of. We go to school together. I need your help, Mateo. It's an emergency. Hey, what's with the bathrobe? Mateo is a wizard. In training. Since when? Since always. I just had to keep it a secret before. 
My grandfather Alakazar wrote a book about all the magical creatures in the kingdom when he was a royal wizard. Oh, uh... <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so what do these creatures look like? Uh, purple, right? With pointy ears. And spots. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Oh, that's them! Noblins? Uh-huh. Noblins are magical shapeshifters. They can transform into dogs and have the power to turn objects into gold. I wish I had that power. <gasps> look here! It says the Noblins live deep in the jungle and never stray far from home. Then what were they doing in the city? Stealing ships, apparently. Well, I'm, if they don't like leaving home, it, maybe that's where they're headed. That's why we didn't see the ships on the ocean, because they took them up the river. That's where we should look. Mateo, can you come with? We might need some magical assistance. I'm your wizard. Oh. Hey there, I've got some advice for you. I'm sorry, Zuzo, I'm kind of in a hurry. Well, that's actually part of the advice. We'll talk later. Okay, Zuzo, you're talking. This is not good. What's not good? They're turning down a side river. The more twists and turns we make, the harder it'll be for anyone to find us. Hmm. I have an idea. Elena, there's a fork in the river. Which way do we go? We could split up. No, wait, there's something in the water. How dare they litter our beautiful kingdom? No, it's... It's a page from Isabel's journal. She must be leaving us a trail. There they are. What's the plan? First, we untie Isabel and Gabe. Then we get our ship back. Yeah, but how? Don't worry. I have a few tricks up my sleeve. You've been waiting all day to say that, haven't you? Maybe. Elena! Huh. Uh. Isa! You came for me. I'm never losing you again. Get on the Jackwins. I'll hold them off until you're safe. Skylar, protect Isabel. You got it. What are you doing? Taking back our ship. As a future queen of Avalor, I order you to leave this vessel at once. I will not let my Noblins be captured again. Again? Get back. Betsy. wants a ride. Uh-uh, no y'all getting on my back. I'm serious, Princess, you should go. I'm not going anywhere. It's my job to protect you. And it's my job to protect everyone. Oh. Throw her overboard. What? Do you have time for my advice now? Suzo, you have to help me save my friends. First things first, why are you in such a rush? Because they're in trouble. No, no, I mean, why have you been rushing around all day? Oh, uh, well, I was trying to prove that I'm ready to rule now. And how's that working out for you? <sighs> Not so well. Hmm. Did you ever stop and think why the Noblins took the ships in the first place? No, but you're right. I should have. Ugh. <sighs> I was so busy trying to prove I could be a great queen, I forgot to act like one. My grandfather was right. I'm not ready to rule. But are you ready to learn? Cause that's all that matters. Just take your time and you'll do great. Thanks for the advice, Suzo. Aw, oh, giving advice is easy. Taking it is the tough part. Wait! Don't hurt my friends. I'm just coming down to talk. Huh? About huh? what? Huh? I am Princess Elena. I am Jiku, leader of the Noblins. Jiku, I should have asked before, but why are you taking our ships? We are just trying to get home. The old queen took us and locked us up in your city for many years. Shariki imprisoned you? Why? Because we have the golden touch. Shariki forced us to turn all sorts of things to gold to make her rich. But then, one day, the bars of our prison vanished. We were free. 
but we were so far from home, in a strange city, and I had to get my fellow Noblins to safety. The ships were the quickest way. I had no idea. The reason you're all free is because Elena defeated that evil queen. I had no idea. Well, now that we know what's really going on, I have a royal decree to make. Jiku, you can borrow our ships to take you home, as long as we get them back after. Thank you, Your Majesty. Noblins, we're going home! Yeah! yeah. Thank you, you, Your Majesty! Oh, oh, yeah! Speaking of home, we should get going if we want to make it back in time for the ball. Right, the ball. And what was I supposed to do? She just took off on the Jacqueen. Look, it's Elena and Isabel. Abuela! I'm so glad you're safe. Elena saved us. She tracked down the ships and fought the Noblins, but then she figured out they weren't mean at all. And then she made a deal to get them home safe. Princess Elena Castillo Flores, do you swear to protect and defend the Kingdom of Avalor? Um, before I answer that, there's something I'd like to say. Today, I set out to prove that I was ready to be Queen of Avalor, and I learned that I have a lot to learn before I become Queen. So with that in mind, I am ready to appoint my Grand Council. <clears throat> Louisa, my grandmother, because you always find a way to look on the bright side of things, no matter how dark it gets. Naomi Turner. Me? Her? Today you gave me great advice and wouldn't stop trying to get me to take it. <laughs> I could use your common sense and resolve on my council. I'm on the Grand Council. I am on the Grand Council. <laughs> That's my Naomi. Chancellor Esteban. Hey? You know so much about the kingdom and everyone in it. I would be foolish not to seek your expertise. Yes, this is true. And finally, my grandfather, Francisco, the wisest person I know. Today, you acted like a true queen. And one day, I hope to be. But today, I vow to protect and defend the Kingdom of Avalor as Crown Princess. <gasps> uh, is it supposed to do this? It's never glowed like that before. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. Hi, Elena. We're still invited, right? <laughs> it is my honor to present Crown Princess Elena of Avalor. Bad for your first day, but are you ready for day two? Are you? Oh, this is gonna be fun.